Hey everyone, RJ here. Welcome back to the channel. And today I'm doing an unboxing and taking a first look at the all new TCL A3X for Straight Talk Wireless. Okay, so as I mentioned before, this is a brand new phone just released for Straight Talk Wireless. I can't find this in any stores or nothing like that yet. I actually bought this directly from Straight Talk website and the price right now is going for $69.99 and we're going to see what we get here for $69.99. I've covered a lot of the TCL devices for Straight Talk so I was very glad to be able to pick this up here and just show y'all this new a3x so yeah anyway now before i get started with this unboxing i want to say that if you're new around here be sure and consider subscribing and clicking that bell beside it and pressing all notifications to be notified for all future videos about this phone and other phones that i have on my channel so uh yeah that'd be really appreciated now Getting into the phone here, we'll open the flap up and you'll see to the left is your plans. They got an all new platinum plan here for $65 a month, uh, which you might wanna look into. I don't know, there's the phone. It's got 4G LTE, Android 11, right out of the box. It's got a six inch HD plus display, battery talk time up to 22 hours, standby up to 18 days. It's got Wi-Fi calling uh, compatible. It's got up to 32 gigabytes of onboard storage. It's, it supports also a micro SD up to 512 gigs. It has a 1.8 gigahertz octa-core processor, Bluetooth 5.0. Let's go ahead here and take it out of the box. Okay, so even when you buy it off of Straight Talk, it still has to download the free Walmart app. So <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and pop the top off here and we'll get the phone, pop this out as well, put it to the side for a moment and we'll see what now does come here in the box. So we got your quick start guide, which you, of course you always know that. Uh, terms and conditions, yeah, yeah, yeah. And of course you do have your TCL branded wall brick here. I doubt there's any kind of fast charging on this. And here we got a USB-C cable. So I'm not sure if it's micro or if it's USB-C, so uh, unfortunately, it's micro USB, so I was not expecting that at all, to be honest. And of course, in here, got your little SIM ejector tool. And that's pretty much all that comes into the box, so we'll go ahead and put all this away, and we'll look at the phone. Okay, so I went ahead and got the phone here all set up. Now, I'll give you some specs after I take you around the phone a little bit. On the back there, you'll see a triple camera set up with your flash. Now, the back here, it looks like it's got a pattern to it here. It's not you know it's 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 still pretty slick it's not grippy or nothing like that uh giving you all a heads up there also the back here is not removable so don't try to remove the back um to get to the battery because you can't re you can't remove the back of the phone now on the right side here you got your power button as well as your volume rocker on top you got a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and secondary mic on the left, you have your pre-installed SIM and SD tray there. And below that, you have what I'm guessing is a Google Assistance key. On the bottom, got your speaker, micro USB charging port, and microphone. And of course, your front camera and receiver there. So getting on with a few specs here of this device. Now, like I said, triple camera setup. It consists of a 13 megapixel main camera with a five megapixel depth sensor and a two megapixel macro lens. Also, the front camera is a 5 megapixel camera. This phone has a 6 inch HD plus 18 by 9 display coming in at 1440 by 720. It has 2D Dragon Trail glass. For the processor, we have a 1.8 gigahertz octa core Qualcomm Snapdragon 460 processor with 3 gigabytes of RAM and 32 gigabytes of onboard storage. Of course, expendable with an SD card up to 512 gigs. The battery is a 3,500 milliamp hour battery. And that's really about all I can find out this phone right now. So looking here, uh, now this phone does not have a fingerprint scanner uh, on this phone, uh, which is unfortunate, but you do have face unlock, but you can unlock it here by swiping up and putting your PIN pattern or password. We will test out the, that face unlock right now. So I'm looking at it and there you go. Pretty quick. 
I mean, it's not slow. Of course, it ain't the most secure, you know, on the market, but you know, it's there. And at least, you know, you ain't gotta always put in a pin pattern or password. So here's the display, 720p. And you can tell the screen does look pretty vibrant. It, it don't look bad whatsoever. It is still installing bloatware as I hooked up the Wi-Fi and stuff like that here from Straight Talk. So that can most that can be disabled or at least uninstalled, which is a good thing. So going here into the app drawer, you will see your recent apps. You will see all your apps there. And the phone, for the most part, does feel pretty smooth. Now, you know, as far as the 460 processor, you know, don't go into this phone thinking you're going to get flagship performance, mid-range performance. Okay, this is a $69 phone, and that's what it's supposed to be used for. Okay, a budget phone that's going to probably do whatever you want it to do. You know, if you don't really care about, you know, blazing fast performance, because you're not buying this phone for that blazing fast performance. Um, but of course, I will be throwing my SIM card in this phone since I have total wireless. It'll it'll work right in this phone. And now, uh, you know, and then later on, I'll give my true thoughts of this phone. I've used it for about a week. Um, now I'm coming from a Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. So going from that to this. Yeah, we're going to see just how it, it works in everyday usage. Now, we're going to just look into some of the basics first, okay? Let's go to the, to the dialer because I get a lot of people asking about how to make phone calls, how to use the dialer, and stuff like that. So, here we go. Now, this button here will bring up your keyboard. You just dial your number, press the green button, and you're good to go. Message in here, I'm guessing, is Gboard, which is nice to have that already. Uh, on the phone now let's pull the drop down this is running android 11 right out of the box you have your wi-fi your flashlight your bluetooth all of your stuff going on there screen recorder screencast hotspot and uh let's see what we got here we got your dark mode battery saver screenshot and all that kind of good stuff going on in there now we'll go ahead and go to the settings here for a moment connected devices you'll see your vpn screencast Printing services, Chromebook, nearby share, and your Android Auto. Uh, you have your home and screen and lock screen. Wallpapers, your themes, your home settings, um, on-screen lock notifications, functions, shortcuts, and lock screen messages going on there. Uh, we have your display. So we're going to go ahead and turn on night mode just because night mode just seems to look better in my lighting looking through the camera here. So we're going to leave it on that. You have your sleep, your font size, typical stuff. Get your status bar here. You can show network speed, your battery percentage. And I see this right now it's inside the battery icon. So you can have it next to the battery icon, which I do prefer that to be there. And all that good stuff there. Now backing out of here, you have your LED indicator. So you got your an LED light that blinks for events, charging, and low battery. So that's nice. More display settings here is screensaver, uh, it says colors. And so, yeah, we'll just, okay, we'll bow it back out of that. Now, a little clicking noise. I'm going to get rid of that here in a second. Now, down here in sound and vibration, uh, typical stuff here, more sound settings. You have your touch sounds, screen locking sounds, and dial. I always turn all those off. Now, the vibrate on touch, I do like, but everything else goes, okay? Now, this has a single bottom firing speaker, and uh, we'll go ahead and just play a little ringtone here uh, just to see what it sounds like. We'll go ahead here, and we will crank up the ringer. Okay, that was kind of short-lived, but anyway, let's just uh, see what I can find here. So don't sound too awful bad, bottom firing speaker. I want to also do a video clip here uh, showing the sound here again as well. So stay tuned for that. Uh, notifications, you have uh, everything here that you pretty much see. Less disturbing mode means notifications are shown as a small ball preview to less disturb the current operation, which is really nice there. And all that kind of good stuff going on there. Now your buttons and gestures. So here... We have your system navigation for your buttons at the bottom. You have your gesture navigation here, which gets rid of that. And uh, yeah, 
That's a lot better in my personal opinion and more um, high gesture bar and all that kind of stuff. Okay, we'll just go ahead and back out of all of that there. And power key, you can use to quick launch camera by, by pressing it twice. Power button ends call and power key menu show device controls. Okay, all that stuff there. Now we have smart manager, which shows all of your stuff. Okay, all of your battery, notifications, memory. Right now we're 97% optimized, so we'll go ahead and Give that a quick boost to 100%. Now here at memory, like I said, three gigabytes of RAM, 1.6 gigabytes free. You know, three gigabytes of RAM, there's nothing really to complain about for the price here of this phone. I mean, it is what it is. Now the battery being a 3,500 milliamp battery, I'm definitely gonna test that out and see how long we can get here on battery with everyday usage. Now we've got your digital well-being, security and biometrics. Now there is no you know, fingerprint scanner. Got your pin pattern or password, face unlock, and smart lock there. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Now, as far as storage goes, you know, 11.3 gigabytes has been used out of 32. So you only get around 20 gigabytes. Now, there is some bloatware installed. Because when I first powered it on, it said 22 gigs. So that right there pretty much shows you right there. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Now down here at system, we have your about phone, system updates, and all that kind of stuff, blah, blah, blah. Let's go into about phone, and right here, showing you some more specs. Now the model of this phone is the A600DL. You see the RAM, the storage, the capacity of a battery, and you see the cameras right there. And you'll see we are running Android version 11 with February 5th, 2021 security patch. So we will see if there's any updates here on this phone once I get it, you know, working and everything else. Now... Um, just taking a brief look here at the camera and we'll do a little sound test here last uh, So we're going to deny all of that now 13 megapixel rear camera got your 1x your two times and your four times Pretty nice. You got more over here for your panorama stop motion light trace and super macro now video mode You have the 1x two times and four times is there as well and up here for your settings you can record in full 1080, 720, and 480 at 30 frames per second. Now, here's where the little storage thing is. If you got an SD card, you can press that, uh, which you can't right now because there's no SD card in there. But you can default it to external storage, so every picture you take, every video that you take, will go to your SD card and will not eat up your internal storage. So, you also have your portrait mode here for your bokeh and all that kind of cool stuff. And you got pro mode. And all that kind of good stuff there. So I'll take a few, you know, simple shots, simple video, and we'll see how that does. Now, lastly, before we get out of here, um, I'm going to pull up a video here on YouTube. Okay, so I have one of my videos here pulled up. We'll go ahead and play it now. We're at half volume right now. We'll go ahead and crank it on up. And taking a first look at the CoolPad Legacy Brisa, available for Boost Mobile. Okay, so I've seen this phone here at BoostMobile.com, and I was actually able to find it in my local Walmart. And you know, I like the specs. I liked what I was seeing. Viewing angles. And I know you're seeing some. Of the specs Not too here, bad. And you're like, oh, well, well, wait to the price. Okay, you know, just reserve judgment. Okay, so. You know, there you go. I mean, not bad. I mean, you know, the speaker does sound a bit tiny. You know, it does not sound full. It does not have any really any lows to it. But, you know, what do you really expect? The speaker sounds good enough. Single bottom firing speaker. Good display. I mean, the display looks nice. So far, the phone does feel nice and fluid. Of course, I want to play some games on this phone. You know, I mean... It's $69 and TCL is really doing some good things with their phones. You know, with the new 20 series out, I'm hoping to get my hands on some of those. You know, and as well as these little budget phones here that are for straight talk. You know, I mean, $69 is not bad. The design is, you know, it's pretty good. I mean, it's made out of plastic, you know, with Dragon Trail glass. So it's nothing that's, you know, super premium. But at least it won't shatter if you drop it, except for maybe the screen, if you drop it on the screen. But, you know, the rest of the phone's going to be in pretty good shape. But, I mean, test the cameras out, call quality, the reception, 
and all that kind of stuff. So this is the TCL A3X available right now at Straight Talk. So for so self form of it anyway, hit that like button. Any questions you may have, be sure and leave it down below. If you're new around here, consider subscribing and clicking that bell beside it and push all. Get notified for all future videos. I got many coming. I got some other Bluetooth, some cheap Bluetooth earbuds that I'm very excited to try out, to be honest with you. Hope you watched the whole video. I should have said that earlier in the video. Uh, but hope you did watch the whole video and got the whole in-depth here, first impressions of the TCL A3X. So that's it. Y'all have a good one, and thanks for watching.